This shows that God is true to his word, no matter what, no matter how much we choose to trust him or not. The third clip I have displays what it sounds like when a person starts to begin to trust. It's a magic card. It's lovely. You, uh, you don't want to go for a ride, do you? We could get out of the palace, see the world. Is it safe? Sure, do you trust me? What? Do you trust me? Yes. The tone of Jasmine's voice in this one saying yes is definitely different from the first time she, Aladdin asked her to trust him. There is still a little sound of questioning in her voice, but this is about her coming to a place where she is able to feel like she can trust him and that she'll be okay with Aladdin. A picture that I also found very interesting is this one. It is painted by Michelangelo and it's on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. It's creation of man. The limp hand is what would be Adam's hand and the hand that is reaching out is the hand of God. I'm not sure if any of you have looked at this picture before, but God's hand is not very far from Adam's hand. All Adam has to do is just lift up his finger and he would be touching God. It shows that we can take the step of faith and just lift up just a tiny little bit and we can touch God. We can experience what God has for us if we're willing to take the little bit of motion to get to him. The story I'm about to tell you is only being said because I'm trusting God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that he was telling me to share this. I was a junior in high school, going through a rough time with depression and ultimately hating myself. One day I was talking to one of my friends, who was a sophomore, about the crap that was going on in my life. After I talked to her, I felt better, but the day continued on and all the stuff that was weighing on my mind kept coming back. And, and later that night, I called her up to talk to her again to vent. Apparently, after this conversation, she was really shaken up about what I told her. But an hour after that, I was doing fine because I'd gotten it all out of my system. Then my world came ca crashing down around me. My mom came in and knocked on the door saying, Melissa, the cops are here for you. I was hoping my mom was playing some kind of joke but I knew she wasn't because it wasn't possible. She went to bed a few, hour, few hours earlier at this point. The cops were actually there and they barged into my room. Then they started questioning me and put me in the center of the room. One of the cops was questioning me and the other was talking to my parents and another was looking around the room for any sort of weapon. The cops came, the cop on the hunt for the weapons came and found a knife that was used earlier to cut pizza with. The cop brought the knife over and asked me about it, and I flat out told him that there was no way I would hurt myself with a dirty knife. <laughs> he kept asking me if I was going to use the knife to hurt myself, but he wouldn't take the proof. I figured they figured that if I had a knife, I would use it. 
With this evidence, they demanded that I get into the ambulance of my own free will or be strapped to the stretcher and forced to go. I was thinking, I was thinking they're going to force me either way. So I willingly walked onto the ambulance. This story really broke my trust for that friend. Till I learned that she was doing it out of care for me because she didn't want me to hurt myself because she loved me. Just like God loves us, sometimes we find ourselves in different situations in life and we don't know how we got there or how we're gonna get out of it. But that's when we really do need to trust God. There are three things that I want you to take away from this message. I want you to admit that you need to trust him, even in areas that you haven't before. Think of an area that you need to trust God in. I've recently had to do this many times over daily because I find myself trying to take control of everything and do it myself. It's not gonna show that you're weak if you admit that you need to have help to accomplish what you need to get done. And if God wants you to do it, he'll help you do it. Also, when you trust him, you'll be stronger than you can ever imagine. Like my cop story, I trusted him, though I didn't want to share this story today. This was something so personal and so real. I had to use it as an example of what God is doing in my life. It's all about what God wanted and not what I wanted. <laughs> Above all else, I want you to take away that God is fully trustworthy, even though we may not understand the situation. I don't fully understand why God wanted me to change my sermon at 10 p.m. Monday night, but I'm trusting that he wanted me to give this sermon today. God is asking you, do you trust me? What is your response? Are you going to trust him that he loves you so much and only wants the best for you? Are you going to lift up your finger, like in the picture, that little bit, and say that you want God's help and that you can trust him? All right, let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for letting us be able to be here today. And Lord, I thank you for helping me get through this message and get it all written before this morning, Lord. I pray that they, my classmates, will get something out of it, Lord. In your name, amen.